Hello guys, I arrived in Hong Kong yesterday to deliver some Chinese food to attend the Axe-Hung's global brand lunch event. Let me quickly highlight all the important details for you guys. In the short term, flying will be possible between designated points within a city and in the long term, door-to-door -door flying service will be achieved. The mothership can accommodate four passengers and has some off-roading capabilities and offers a CLTC range of 1,000 kilometers. Currently, each flight can cover 20 kilometers and the mothership can recharge the flying vehicle up to six times with each charge taking about 20 minutes. However, it has to return back to the mothership to charge each time which is still a bit inconvenient and takes a lot longer. A specific type of pilot license will be required to operate the flying car but thanks to the high level of intelligence it only takes about three minutes to learn how to operate which means the lessons will be much easier to obtain than a traditional car license. Xpeng is undergoing a complete technical upgrade, including improvements to motors, energy consumption, thermal management, range, and the charging speed now reaching a 5C rate, which means you can uh, recharge up to 80% in 12 minutes. Xpeng is now offering a plug-in hybrid as it's still the most cost-effective and practical solution for ultra-long driving ranges. Over a thousand optimization have been made to the vehicle's system, especially in voice interaction speed, which was already fast enough in previous versions and it is now even faster. Xpeng yeah. will make all future software updates in China and overseas markets at the same time, which means the update frequency of the overseas markets will be significantly improved. Future Xpeng vehicles will feature onboard AI modules which can train AI while ensuring strong user privacy protection. It will work in real time and even without an internet connection. Starting from the second quarter of 2025, Xpeng will begin to use its own in-house developed chips to replace Nvidia's products. Xpeng will launch level 3 autonomous driving this year and will completely abandon high definition maps. The timeline for XNGP entering overseas markets will depend largely on local government policies regarding autonomous driving and uh, data collecting. Xpeng's strategy is to use large modules to train a highly intelligent brain with a solid AI architecture, allowing it to quickly adapt to different driving conditions worldwide. I think the demonstration during the event last night was very clever because they put a Xpeng X9 on Hong Kong road to showcase how quickly and how clever uh, the car and the system could adapt a new environment because Hong Kong uh, drives on the opposite side as mainline China and has different uh, rules and regulations. They also mentioned that launching XNGP abroad will be like Tesla's FSD entering China. It will perform well and iterate quickly. In the next two years, Xpeng will still focus on research and development of their robots with the initial mass production expected by the end of 2026. These robots will be initially used in Xpeng's factory to improve production efficiency or quality, assist with operations at Xpeng's headquarters, or even serve customers in selected Xpeng retail, retail stores. I've always wondered why robots are designed to look like humans. Turns out it's it's because using human-shaped robots allow training with human data. If the robot looked like, uh, I don't know, uh, an octopus, we would have to gather data from an actual octopus 
that could be much more difficult. Right downstairs from my hotel is Expo's brand new flagship store in Wan Chai, Hong Kong. So let's check it out and take a look at what's new with the latest Expo X9. I think the store location is pretty good. You've got McLaren on that side, you've got Porsche on this side, and then on across the road you've got Tesla as well. So I think this is a really good location. Automatically elevates the Xpeng's brand presence. This updated X9 now uses Xpeng's latest pure vision based autonomous driving system, which means the LiDAR sensor on the front have been removed. It's used to be here, but it's gone right now. In the previous version, customers had to choose between the central aisle or zero gravity seats now with the new x9 there is no need to compromise you get both comfort and space wide enough to easily access to the third row hada, hada, hada. Hi. by the way i'm shooting for a hong kong commercial <laughs> <laughs> turn on the back screen all right guys if you want to learn more about the x9 make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit the like button and last thing is if you want to buy any chinese cars you can contact me via the information below so until the next time peace